So we're going to do this last example with five equations given and we're trying to find the enthalpy change for this equation on the bottom, the black one. So first we need to find which, where our reactants and our products are. So our reactants are CaC2 and 2H2O. And we can see that CaC2 is on the right side of the red equation, which means we're going to eventually have to flip that equation around. And also there is an H2O on the right side of the purple equation, which means we're, which means we're going to have to switch that one also. There's an H2O that's on the left side of the blue equation, so we're not going to have to switch that one. And also we have our products CaOH2 and C2H2. Uh, CaOH2 is on the right side of the blue equation, so we're not going to have to mess with that. But the C2H2 is on the left side of the purple equation, so we are going to have to switch that also. So first of all, I'm going to bring down the first, the first red equation, but remember I have to switch it because CaC2 is on the right side and we want it on the left. So. I'm going to write it, switched, and so the enthalpy change for this is going to change signs because it becomes an endothermic reaction, so it's positive 62.8 kilojoules, and also um, our second green equation won't be changed because the CA on the left side will end up cancelling with the CA on the right side of the modified red equation. So I will just copy it down without changing anything. And there is a fraction in front of the O2, but we're not going to change that yet. We're going to see if everything actually if everything actually cancels out, then we won't have to actually modify that. And also, the third equation, the blue equation, also should be normal because the CaO will be can on the left side will be cancelling with the CaO on the right side of the green equation. So I will write that down below. And so the enthalpy change will remain the same. Okay, and so our fourth equation, which is the purple equation, needs to be reversed because the H2O, as we saw, is actually supposed to be a reactant and it's on the right, so we have to switch it so that it's on the left. So I will rewrite this switched, and let's see, and there's also a fraction in front of this O2, but we're just going to leave it there for now. So this is going to be positive 1,300 kilojoules. In our last blue, light blue equation, we see that graphite is going on the left side, and but the thing is that our 2C graphite on the right side of the red equation right here needs to cancel because it's not in our original equation that we're trying to find the enthalpy for. So what we're going to have to do is that we're going to have to multiply through this last light blue equation by 2 so that it'll be able to cancel out with the red equation. So everything is going to be multiplied by 2 and the enthalpy change is also going to be multiplied by 2. So it's actually negative 787 kilojoules. Okay, so now we're going to be able to cancel things out. So the 2C graphite and 2C graphite will cancel out. 
the 2CO2 and 2CO2 will cancel out. The CaO and CaO will cancel out. The Ca and the Ca will cancel out. The five the five halves O2 and the two plus one halves O2 will cancel out. And so we'll end up getting CaC2S plus H2O, 2H2O in liquid form is C2H2 as a gas plus Ca. OH2 aqueous, which, which when you compare that to the equation that we're trying to find the enth enthalpy for, they're exactly the same. So we're going to have to add up all these up, which if you do with the calculator, is equal to negative 712.8 kilojoules, but we have to remember to use significant figures and 62.8 and negative 787 both only have three significant figures so we're going to limit ourselves to three so rounding it equals negative 713 kilojoules and that'll be our final answer so first of all the Hess's law is based on the fact that enthalpy is a state function which Daniel already explained earlier in our pen cast. Also, we have to remember the few ways to manipulate equations. So, the first way is through reversing the equation, which is basically changing, flipping the products and the reactants. And to do this, we have to make sure that we change the sign of the change in enthalpy which is because you're going from endothermic to exothermic or the other way around. The second thing to remember is that if you multiply by a coefficient, you do it all the way through the equation and also you multiply that with the change in enthalpy. This is because these are proportional. And also, you have to make sure that your products and reactants are always on the correct side as what your final equation should be. And remember that it's always going to be adding and then canceling um, substances. So if you do not get the correct answer or you're not being able to cancel things out, then you've done something wrong or you've manipulated them incorrectly. So there's nothing more than just adding and canceling. So just stick to the basics.